every game is preparing for something down the road. Every game, everyone means a little more to something else down the road. This is the next one. actually probably been working with her in, in both basketball and golf as long as she, back when she could just learn to walk. Um, so she's been, had a ball in her hand and a golf club in her hand since she was, you know, four or five years old. We made a deal when I got to high school that he's dad at home and coach at practice and at school. So, I mean, we're, we're like best friends, the two of us. I'm really close with both my parents. If it comes down to I'm needing my dad during practice and he's there to be my dad and not my coach. Our, head, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. At five, number 32, Katie Brankenberry. And for you, we're the team at 511, number 40. It's just that bond that they have, um, and I think they've done it the right way, in my opinion. Very first time he coached her, had to be either second or third grade. They left, they went to practice, and they came home, and I'm thinking, well, this is the very first time he's coached her in, in basketball, and, and I said, well, how'd practice go? And she said, well, I had to set out. And I said, you did? She said, yep. Yeah. Coach said I wasn't being coachable. And I thought, oh, okay. <laughs> Here we go with trying to figure out what everybody's role is. I think that was a learning opportunity that, that she learned what coachable meant. And she learned that that relationship with her dad in the gym was going to be different than what it was at home. And learning what coachable meant and, and being coachable to be a part of a team, was all, that was that foundation that was built that, that young. I, he's been my coach for so long, I know that... Like when I'm doing something wrong, I just stop and think, what, what would my dad tell me in this situation? Everybody's got to do a little bit. Nobody has to do a lot. And you're all going to sit in the same boat that we got three seniors sitting in right now. This is it. There is no more home games for three of them. No more. It's done. Send them out. Um, the thoughts of never coaching her competitively in a, on a high school team, it's, it's sad. He can get on her and he can say, hey, you know, you're not doing this or you're not working hard here or you're not whatever. Um, and she respects him and she knows that that's out of a desire for her to get better and do better. minutes with unintensity and no effort and no enthusiasm, it's going to be a game the whole way. Walking off the floor and walking off the golf course and knowing that he's there for me, good or bad. If I had a good game, he's there praising me and supporting me and telling me that I did a good job. And if I don't do good, he might tell me what I need to do better, get on me. But in the end, he's always there for me and always there to boost me up, and it doesn't matter if I play good or play bad, he's still my dad. So, are we looking for strapless? Yes, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna have a strap. The only thing we have it narrowed down is the color. <laughs> I feel blessed that, that I've been a, a part of that and part of that to uh, be able to enjoy that success with her beyond just being a dad, but being her coach as well.